What's up everybody and welcome back to another GeoGuessr tip video. In this one we will be going over Asia, some of the countries in Asia. Uh, just to let you know before we start that I am leaving out some of the smaller and more uncommon countries to get, such as like Hong Kong and Laos. I'll be making a future video of some of just some miscellaneous countries that I've skipped when I've been doing some of the regions in the future, but for now we're just focusing on uh, the more common countries in Southeast Asia. We're getting really close to 2,000 subscribers, so if you aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it. Leave a like and a comment on what kind of GeoGuessr content you would like to see in the future, and I hope you learned something and enjoy. All right, the first country we're gonna be focusing on today is Thailand. And the first couple clues I wanted to give you guys uh, to help differentiate Thailand and Cambodia because since they are so close, they can look really similar at times. Uh, the first thing is that Thailand drives on the left and Cambodia drives on the right. So that's a very good clue. Also, these bollards are in Thailand a lot of the time and they're also in Indonesia. So if you see this, it's not 100% Thailand. But if you're trying to debate between like Thailand or Indonesia and you see these bollards, or sorry, Thailand and Cambodia and you see these bollards, then it is Thailand. Uh, another thing to help differentiate the two is that, as you can see, the camera quality is like insanely good in this picture. And it's called uh, Generation 4, and Cambodia doesn't have this good, uh, the most recent camera generation. And another thing is the blue car is for the Gen 4. All right, a couple more clues for Thailand are that you get a lot of these concrete roads in Thailand. Um, concrete roads are most common in Thailand and Philippines. And then you also get these poles with the holes, the small holes in them, along with this, I'm not even sure what it is, like a light or something like that that hangs off. And it looks pretty distinctive. If you see it a few times, you should be able to begin to recognize it. Jumping on down to Cambodia, and as I said earlier, uh, Cambodia drives on the right. Uh, these are what the bollards look like in Cambodia, just these white poles with the red on the top. But one of the clues that I find actually to see the most, that could be really, really helpful and wouldn't be obvious to know, are that you see these uh, like political signs all over. They're, they're always blue like this, and then they have the political figures on them. Uh, sometimes they're bigger like this one, but a lot of the times they're just smaller. This isn't one, but they, they're like more like this size a lot of the time. So keep your eye out for some of these blue political signs in Cambodia. Another insanely good and useful tip to look out for in Cambodia is that you see these beer signs everywhere uh, with anchor written on it. It's a Cambodian beer that is literally everywhere in the country. And about 50% of the time you see this sign, there's also a sign right next to it that just straight up says Cambodia. So obviously if you see that, but if you just see the anchor beer sign alone, you should be in Cambodia as well. Scooching on over to the country of Vietnam, and Vietnam is a pretty easy country to be able to distinguish. Firstly, because the coverage is pretty unique. You see this guy on a, a motorcycle riding and you can see the tip of his helmet and the edge of his rear view mirror. So just seeing that alone, you're already in Vietnam. But if you don't like the meta stuff, then uh, all over Vietnam, they have signs. Like the, the streets are really skinny like this one most of the time. And the language is pretty distinguishable from like Cambodia or Thailand. It looks completely different and it has a lot of these accents all over uh, all over the words and it always has the street name and like all the information on the signs as well all right for this one we're in the country of malaysia and there are a lot of clues in malaysia that could help distinguish it and in this particular round uh, we have a lot of them so the first one is that the poles are striped white and black like this all over the country uh, the next is that these are what the, the road signs look like with these, I don't know exactly what shape it is, but this orange shape with the road number on the inside and the blue signs. 
Also in Malaysia, the stop signs say, what is it exactly? Berhenti. So if you see Berhenti on a stop sign, then you're in Malaysia. And another uh, cheeky useful tip to know is that on most of the poles alongside the street, you'll have this black square uh, sign on the pole with some letters and numbers on it. Over here we have a, a bit of a chunkier one, but if you see some of these black squares on the poles, then you are in Malaysia. A couple things that you should know about Malaysia as well is that it does have Gen 4 coverage, just like uh, Thailand did with the super clear coverage. And these are what the Malaysian plates look like. So it's a white long plate with just a black line in the middle. Uh, as you can see with this one too, just white and then the black line in the middle. Moving down to the tiny nation of Singapore. And some good things to look out for in Singapore are that it most of the times has this double yellow line on the side of the road. Uh, another thing is they have these black and white curbs all over the country as well and it too has gen 4 super good coverage and the plates aren't as easy to tell as like malaysia and indonesia uh, and since it is so small you often see plates from those countries in it but they are just black plates with with white <laughs> writing on them okay we're still in singapore but we're in the suburbs this time and some things to look out for in the suburbs are that you have these gates all over, like the wooden middle, maybe it's metal and just looks wooden, but uh, these certain gates are all over, and you do have some metal gates like this, but I, I feel like I've seen these ones the most. Also, I don't know if it's just because <laughs> the country's so tiny and uh, the guy was able to do all the Google coverage in one day, or if it's just because Singapore is such a clean country. <laughs> But there's always these trash cans outside of the houses. Uh, so that is a good thing to keep an eye out for as well. All right, so for this one, we're in Indonesia. And the first thing I wanted to point out about Indonesia is the license plates. Uh, they're pretty similar to Malaysia, but they have the long white in the background. And instead of one black line like you get in Malaysia, you get two black lines. A couple more things to look out for in Indonesia is, for one, uh, a lot of the writing ends in letters like GAN or UNG, U-N-G, A-N-G, um, here's one, E-N-G, and over here I think is O-N-G. Uh, also, a lot of the words end in PAN or just like A-N. So if you're someone who looks for language, th those are some good things to look out for. Another thing is they have a lot of billboards and ads for cigarettes all over the country. Uh, obviously, there's a bunch of different brands of cigarettes, but this is one of them. And over there, you see another one as well. And also in Indonesia, I'd say almost more than any other country, they have flags all over. Uh, this one's kind of hiding, but it is there. So always make sure to check all of your surroundings and look for a flag. Jumping back up to the country of Bangladesh, and Bangladesh is a pretty easy one to get because first off, uh, in a lot of the coverage, you get this Google car with the red mirrors showing and the roof rack, along with the front bumper. Uh, also, if you don't have this in most of the locations in Bangladesh, you should be able to see some writing and only India and Bangladesh have this writing. I'm, I'm sure there's other ones that aren't in GeoGuessr that have this writing, but India isn't in most maps, like a uh, diverse world. It might be in it, but it's really rare. Uh, Bangladesh is a lot more common to get because of the lack of coverage in India. And here is the Bangladesh flag, if you didn't know what it, was look, what it looked like. It's a green square with a red circle in the middle. But the best tips are the Google car and the language for Bangladesh. All right, zoom in on over to Philippines. And in the Philippines, they drive on the right side of the road. And something that is good to look out for is all over the Philippines, 
you see a lot of <laughs> signs just like this one, uh, whether they're political ads or just like ads for food or something. I feel like they always have people's faces on them. But I I'd assume that most of them are political ads and there's like a bunch of copies all next to each other just like you see here. And, and that's super common all over Philippines. Another thing about the Philippines, which I think I said earlier, was like Thailand, they have a lot of concrete roads like you see here. And just to prove how common the, the pictures of people's faces are in this random more rural location, we have some food ads and with people's faces. So if you see like a lot of signs uh, with multiple copies of the same thing all right next to each other, uh, most of the time I assume that I'm in Phili Philippines, and I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time I'm right. Alright, now we're moving on up to Taiwan. And when I first started playing the game, I would get Taiwan and Japan mixed up quite often, just because the languages look similar and the just geography could look pretty similar as well. So here are some tips to differentiate the two. Uh, in Taiwan, you get these poles with these uh, yellow and black stripes, diagonal stripes, and they go all the way to the bottom. There's other poles that don't go all the way to the bottom that I'll explain later, but Taiwan's are uh, diagonally striped and they go all the way to the ground. Also in Taiwan, they drive on the right and Japan drives on the left, so that's a super good thing to know if you get the two mixed up quite often. Now we are in the country of Japan, and like I just said, they drive on the left as uh, Taiwan drives on the right. And a good and probably the most useful thing to get Japan right away is Japan's the only country in Asia that has low cam. So it's a really stretched out blur, just like uh, Switzerland also has it. And as you can see, it's like if they had the normal blur at the bottom and just pulled it and stretched it out. You also see the back of the car, and it could be white or black, so just look out for the low cam. And also you get these bollards on the side of the road, which is the white pole and the yellow circle at the top, all over Japan. Uh, you could get ones that look really similar in Taiwan as well, but the I'd say these are in like 90% of the locations in Japan. Still in Japan, and as you can see, driving left, uh, the same bollards on the side of the road. And the low cam, this one's a little bit harder to tell, but if you look real close, you could notice the low cam. But for this particular location, I wanted to, po uh, to point out the plates. Uh, you get a lot of yellow plates and white plates. They're all pretty much square. So I'd say probably the most common is these yellow plates. And another thing I wanted to point out is that they have these on the pole. So instead of diagonal, uh, it's yellow straight lines on the poles. Are there any other ones? Right here, black and yellow straight lines and it doesn't go all the way to the bottom like it does in Taiwan. So Japan is a pretty long country so it is pretty easy to lose some points but one of the only tips I have that could narrow it down extremely is if you're on Hokkaido which is the North Island you see these red and white striped arrows above the road and they're basically all over the North Island. Uh, it's really common to see. So if you do see them, make sure that you guess the North Island to get the extra points. All right, so now we're in Korea and like Bangladesh, uh, Korea is one of the easier countries to get simply based off of the language. And in Korean, they use a lot of circles uh, and like straight lines like you see here. But the main thing I look out for are the circles to help differentiate um, Korean from like Japanese. And if you're in a more rural location and you don't have any language but you have some poles, this is what they look like. Uh, they're really similar to the ones in Taiwan, but unlike Taiwan, they don't go all the way to the ground, they get cut short. So again, just black and yellow slash orange. Uh, lines that get cut before they reach all the way at the bottom. Now for this one we're on the small island country of Sri Lanka and Sri Lankan writing looks like this. 
uh, when I first started playing, I'd get it confused with like Cambodia and Thailand. But now that I've been playing longer, it's pretty easy to tell the difference between the two. Uh, also, in Sri Lanka, they have a lot of English writing, like right under their writing. Some other good tips to look out for are, like Malaysia, they have these black and white striped poles. So if you just see these, make sure that you don't guess right away, you look for some other clues. But those are the only two in Asia that have these black and white poles. Also, Sri Lanka has these yellow license plates, and they drive on the left. And the last little tip for this round is that Sri Lankan uh, Google car looks like a French flag, kind of. Blue on the left, white in the middle, and red on the right. Still in Sri Lanka, and as you can see, we have the same Google car with the blue, white, and red, and the writing that looks like this. But for this one, the tip that I wanted to give you guys is that they have some of these thick holy poles in Sri Lanka. So keep an eye out for these beautiful poles alongside the road, as well as the other tips such as the Google car and the writing. Alright, for the last country in this video, we have the absolutely beautiful country that I would love to visit in the future. Even though it can be pricey, I still would really love to go there. Uh, Bhutan. And Bhutan is a, a tiny country, so uh, it all looks pretty similar. So once you play for a while, you can get it just kind of based on the, the how the trees look and like the walls and everything like that. But there's a lot of really good clues as well. So, for one, you have these bollards on the side of the road that look like this. And another thing to look out for is these are all over. I'd say they're more common than these types of bollards. They just have like these concrete, uh, I'm sure it's for like railing so you don't drive off the edge, all over the country. So if you just see a bunch of these on the side of the road, you should be in Bhutan. And if you are able to see some architecture in Bhutan, that should make it pretty easy to get because the architecture is so unique and so beautiful. Um, it looks like this. They have these really white houses with these uh, brown, beautiful designs on them all over. Uh, most of the houses look really similar to this uh, up here as well. And then Another thing is the license plates are pretty unique as well. So they're like red squares that look just like this. That wraps it up for today's Asia GeoGuessr tip video. I really hope that you learned something new and found this video useful. I will only have a few more videos coming out with this quality of mic and camera. Uh, it is currently in the mail on its way to my house. So soon enough, the camera quality and mic quality should improve. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment on what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers. We're really close, so we could do it very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.